So we had a massive snowstorm in Michigan and it's still super windy, but we couldn't not do Fan Friday outside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record all my clips that I'm gonna voice over. So if it looks like I voiced over this episode, I did, everything but this right here. I'm standing up close to the door so that uh, <laughs> I can get this shot. Look at all the snow we got! Here comes that wind. <sighs> all right, you guys, it's time for Fan Friday! We're gone to the snow dogs! I'm Aaliyah, and this is Lucky, and it's Fan Friday! Sarah Pritchard, 2001, from Instagram wants to know, what is your favorite thing to do when it snows? Go outside and play in it, of course. Taylor Bob, 2004, from Instagram says, would you ever consider making your live shows earlier for your international viewers? We hope to start doing more live shows on you now and actually doing them at different times. So hopefully in the future, yes. LA Form wants to know, how old was Oakley when you got her? Um, today is actually Oakley's gotcha day. We got her four years ago today. We don't really know how old she was when we got her, but we were told she was somewhere between the age of six and eight, which would make her somewhere between the age of 10 and 12. <laughs> Soulless Ginger 28 on Instagram wants to know, where in Michigan do you live? Upper? Lower? If lower, what part of the mitten? We actually live in northern lower Michigan. And for those of you that don't know anything about Michigan, Michigan is made up of two peninsulas, the upper peninsula and the lower peninsula. We're actually in the northern part of the lower peninsula. <laughs> Shim2011 says, how did you introduce a new adult dog into your pack? We have three and are thinking about adding another and want it to be a smooth transition. Um, we actually didn't do a whole lot when we did it. We just had the dog come over and put them all out in the backyard together. But if, you, if you're worried that your dogs might not be friendly with a new dog, then you probably want to have them meet on neutral ground. Like, take them all out to a park together. Take them somewhere that they've never been, so nobody tries to claim it as their <laughs> own space. That would be one thing you could try. Grace the ballerina from Instagram says, do you have to feed your dogs breakfast, lunch, and dinner? I, I noticed that you usually do. I don't usually feed my dogs lunch. Should I? Um, the biggest reason that we feed our dogs three times a day instead of just twice a day is because Oakley has bloated twice. It, actually, in the last year, she bloated twice. And one of the things they say to do to help prevent that is feed more often and smaller meals. So our dogs get a cup and a half total a day, so they get fed a half a cup um, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's the only reason I do it. It's not something you have to do. Feeding your dog twice a day probably is sufficient enough, but since Oakley is prone to bloat once a dog has bloated, they're actually at an 80% chance increased risk of doing it again. It's a good idea to just make them eat smaller meals. Squarey Bear from Instagram says, when did you guys start vlogging on Snow Dogs Vlogs? For those of you that don't know, youtube.com slash Snow Dogs Vlogs is our second channel. It's actually our vlogging channel. Check it out if you'd like. Um, we actually started vlogging on that channel, actually vlogging, on April 1st, 2011. So we've almost been vlogging over there for five years now. Weston Davery from Instagram says, To an out-of-stater, where would you recommend to come to Michigan to visit with the dogs? Um, one of the most dog-friendly places in Michigan is actually Mackinac City and Mackinac Island. And if it's someplace you've never been and you're looking for someplace neat to go in Michigan, I would say go there. Traverse City, Michigan is also a very dog-friendly city. Um, Alpena is really cool, but there's not a whole lot of stuff around here. But I would suggest Mackinac. It's a really cool place. You can actually take the dogs on the ferry to get to the island if you want to go to the island as well. I am the Leersaur from Instagram says, My mom told me huskies get restless and act differently when they don't get exercise every day. I really want a husky, but is having them play around the house with toys enough exercise? No, that's not enough exercise for a husky. Heck, the days when we don't get out and go sledding or hiking, just the girls playing in the yard isn't always enough exercise. Sometimes we have to spend a lot of time out there with them. Huskies are very active dogs. They do need a lot of exercise, so just having them in the house is probably not going to be enough for them. Curly Productions from Instagram wants to know, how's Oakley doing after her weird night during the storm? For those of you that aren't following us on 
like Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, we posted a photo. It would have been Wednesday night. Oakley was a little bit stressed out. We got a huge snowstorm here. It was very windy. The wind was just whipping. You could hear it whistling and everything was moving outside. And I think it was starting, the noise and everything was really starting to stress her out. She was doing her, her pacing walk thing and she just couldn't really get settled. She seemed a little unsettled and it happens to her every once in a while. You know, we try all these different things and nothing ever seems to work to help her calm down. So you kind of just got to talk to her and just reassure her. But um, a lot of you had asked about that today too, how she was doing. She's actually doing much better as you can see in today's video. I honestly think it was just the wind and the noise. She was very unsure of it. And she's acted that way in storms before, windy storms. Like she's fine in thunderstorms and rain and stuff, but windy storms, she can kind of be like that. Today, she seems to be doing fine. She was playing in the snow. <laughs> we got some mail, we got some mail. Let's see what we got today. We got a letter from Zoe and Zoe says, please tell all of the dogs that they are cute. Look at how cute they're being right now. You're so cute. Oakley's over there being cute. You're super cute. <laughs> I think they know it too. And we got a letter and some drawings from Mackenzie. Here's a rest in peace Shiloh photo and a cool coloring. And we got this photo and a card from Carly and a letter from Erica. And we got an awesome letter from Katya and Katya actually says that she's been trying to convince her parents to let her get a dog. And her parents have told her if she fixes her grades, cleans up her act, and starts acting more responsible, they'll think about it. That's what I keep telling you guys. If you can show your parents that you're responsible, you can get good grades, you help out around the house. Dogs are a big responsibility, so you have to prove to your parents that you can be responsible. Probably before they'll let you have a dog. And Katya, I believe in you. I think you can do it. And we got a letter from Audrey and Audrey wants to know how much does it cost to get a dog? We actually did a video on the cost of owning a husky that I will try to remember to put a card up here and link to for you. And we got a letter and some artwork from Emily and Emily wants to know what's your favorite TV series of the moment? Probably Once Upon a Time, Gotham, and Shark Tank. And besides huskies, what's your favorite dog breed? I always have a hard time answering this. I like all dogs. Probably St. Bernard's. I don't know, just because I grew up with them. This drawing is from Lucy. And we got a card and a letter from Sasha. I hope I said that name right. And we got these from Elizabeth. Shelby, apparently you rock. Elizabeth says so. And we got a card from Tannis. I really hope I said your name right. And they want to know, why do you only have huskies instead of other dogs? Because it's the breed we picked and apparently they're addicting and you can't have just one. And we got a letter and I'm not exactly sure who it's from. And they want to know how, how high our fence is in the backyard. It's actually six feet high. And we got a letter from Claire with a photo of her dog and this awesome drawing. I hope I say this name right. Abrel? There it is right there. Tell me if I said it right. Sent all of these drawings. And we got a letter from Grace with a whole bunch of artwork and drawings. Grace wants to know if it's okay if you send stuff more than once. Yes, you guys can send us letters and things more than once. These are some really cool drawings that you did. There's Shiloh. There's a Salvi. There's a, oh, that one's really cute, of Oakley. And they also sent this. And yes, I think you did a really good job for it being your first time. It looks like a paw. And here is a beautiful drawing from Gabriella. It is of Memphis. And then we got a box from a company called The Fifth Paw. There's all of their information for you. And I wasn't sure what it was. I didn't think I ordered anything. Apparently I didn't. They just decided to send this to us. I actually have one of these. These are pretty cool. For those of you that take your dogs on walks, they call this The Fifth Paw. This is where um, you can actually see how it's got the little hooks on the side of it. When uh, you have poop bags, there's a picture. You can just hook it right to this and this hooks onto your leash. We've actually used this before when we've gone camping. So yeah, if you guys want to check those out, there's all the information for you. All right, you guys. So that's all we have for Fan Friday today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you did not do so yet, you can check out Monday's video, which is a DIY treats video on how to make pretzel treats for your pets. And Wednesday's video is a poster giveaway video. There's the poster over there in the corner. We're giving away five of those posters, so you can go check out those videos. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Like I said, I wanted to show you guys how cool the snow was outside, but it was just too windy to actually film and talk out there. So we improvised. Oh, big yawn. As always, you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Goodbye.